Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make these lacy headbands. I have used the same pattern for both headbands but due to the difference in yarn thickness and I've used 5mm crochet hook for the blue one and 4mm crochet hook for the pink one the result is they look quite different but I assure you it's the same pattern. Let's begin. So here I'll be using a 5mm crochet hook and you'll need an elastic band. Any sort of band would do, but it should be elastic. Starting our work with a slip knot. Once your knot is ready, take the elastic band, insert the hook in the center, yarn over, pull up a loop. You will have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. This will be your first single crochet. Again, insert the hook in the center, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. These are your single crochets. So we need to make a total of 10 single crochets. After completing 10 single crochets, chain 3 and turn your work. Now we'll be working in double crochets. Skip the first stitch, yarn over and go under both loops of the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, you will have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2. That's your first double crochet. Chain 1 and then again skip the next stitch and go in the one after that and make a double crochet. So chain one, skip the next stitch and make a double crochet in the next one. So continue doing this until you reach the end. So chain one, skip the next, go under both loops of the next, yarn over, pull through two yarn over pull through two chain one and here we have reached the last one so make a double crochet in the last one so this is how it will look now chain three and turn your work now we'll be making double crochets in these spaces we've got so yarn over go in the center of the space yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two chain one and then go in the next space so this is how we are going to work for the entire headband now so we have to chain one and go into the spaces we have made at the end of the row chain three turn your work and continue with the same pattern So I've made a few rows over here and when you have the desired length of your headband we will chain one and turn our work. Now bring the other side of your headband from the back like this. Keep it close to each other and now we have to crochet in the elastic band. So we will go under both loops of the first stitch and then go in the center of your elastic band, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. Now go in the next stitch. We're not going in the spaces, we're using the stitches on top. So go under both loops and the elastic band and then yeah, pull up a loop. 
so pick up the stitches and keep the elastic band close to your work so that it is part of your work now and now your crochet is covering the elastic band so keep doing this until you reach the end of your row and you have made nearly 10 single crochets I have 9 single crochets over here so make the 10th one on the top of the chain 3. Chain 1 and pull the yarn through. Pull your work to the side so you can see the center bit of your elastic band. We're going to be making single crochets on this side to cover it. You can leave it as it is if you don't mind showing the elastic band. But if you want to cover your elastic band, take the yarn and make a knot. Now work in single crochets covering your band. Sorry, I didn't realize I wasn't in the frame and it's a bit hard to see my work but I'm doing a simple single crochets and I've done nearly 10 to 12 of them just to cover the elastic band. Uh, there's no specific count for this but just uh, make sure you're covering the whole length. It won't be covered exactly because the sides will still show but that's okay. So here I've completed my single crochets, so now just cut off the yarn, chain 1 and pull through. Take a needle and uh, put the thread on and just weave in the bits but make sure that you are weaving in on the center bit only. Don't attach it to the sides otherwise your elastic band won't be able to pull freely. So just make sure you're doing the center bits weaved in in the center part and the side bits will be weaved in in the side bits. Do not connect the center bit to the sides. Once you weaved in all the ends your headband is ready so do let me know how you found the headband and uh, what else would you like to see do comment and um, I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching